guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're doing a cranberry look if you want to know how i did this look then keep on watching hi everyone so i decided to do one eye for camera that way i can see you know how to play with it first and then show you guys how to do it you know so go ahead and do it right now it looks flawless i love it yes 100 percent so the first part i'm gonna go is with the jack and heel and number volume number two so the first shade i'm gonna go with is in heart on now i'm gonna use that as as a transition shade first and i'm just gonna pack that little by little that way you know you know you can start building it up and then just you know blend it smoothly so Wow, these colors are so pigmented, bro. Look crazy. I love it. All right, then the next shade I'm going with is Crazy. I'm gonna apply that in the crease. Like so. And then little by little bring it up. I tend to go with uh, wiper motions and then, you know, circle motions. Both are good to do. Wiper motions and circle motions. All right, I'm gonna go with this blending brush. That way I can blend all of it together. So it won't look too harsh, if that makes sense. I'm using the Pro Concealer in the color Cool Nude and I'm just gonna cut my crease with it. I find this so much easier because when I try to do cut creases with like a flat brush, I couldn't do it because it was too hard and it would be so messy and I was like, I would like get so frustrated. So this is so good if you wanted to have that perfect cut crease, you know? I'm going with my finger and just slightly press it down. I don't want to mess it up. Now I messed it up. <laughs> and now I'm going in back with Paolo. And I'm just going to pack that on my crease. Gently. Alright guys, so the next step is I'm going back with I'm going back with crazy and I'm going to apply that in the corner of my crease to blend that harsh line right there and just pack it and then slowly blend it in. And going back with that brush and just blend it because it looks a little bit too dark. All right. Now for lashes, I'm going in with the Lily Lashes in the style of Miami. Now I'm going back with the palette. I am grabbing. I'm using this flat brush to put eyeshadow on the bottom liner. And I'm going with crazy again. And I'm gonna little by little pack that on close to my waterline, but not exactly at it. Because then it's gonna get all over your eyes and you don't want that. <laughs> okay, wow, that is looking snap. <laughs> okay now for the next step is face so for primer i'm going in with the revolution hydration and i'm gonna apply it, it smells so 
feels like nothing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All right, for foundation, I'm going in with the LA Girl uh, Pro Matte High Definition Nowhere Matte Foundation, and I'm in the shade Soft Honey. And I'm going to apply that with my fingers first. That's fine. And just do like dots. Then I'm going in with my sponge and I'm just going to start blending that up. Pro tip, whenever you apply foundation, you can wet your sponge first. That way it's easier to get in the face if that makes sense. Because if you put it dry, it's not gonna really stick in your face, if that makes sense. Like, you'll barely have any in there. So, my recommendation is to wet your brush first. You can do it in the scene. You can even grab some setting spray and just, you know, spray it away. it is so it is so full coverage and i'm that full coverage girl like i only live in matte foundations honestly i'm going in with the part shade tape in the color medium 35n this is like my go-to concealer like you will see this concealer in every video i literally do <laughs> that crazy like I think it's the best concealer all right for cream contour I'm using the also the pro concealer in the color beautiful bronze and I'm gonna apply that I learned that you're supposed to take this all the way up not right here because I used to do it right here and like my makeup will look horrible after like I'll like cry legit cry and so I was like until I was looking at other people like they're brought it more up over here and I was like oh okay so I was like, let me try that. So lately I've been liking that a lot. It looks so much better, <laughs> that's all I say. Then I'm going with this uh, elf sponge. I'm just gonna start buffing that out. I love this contour it's a really matte concealer but like it gives you a beautiful finish as you can see here I will never try this one and it's really cheap like a few dollars like you can easily purchase this anywhere Alright guys, to set my face, I'm using the Huda Beauty in the color Cupcake. And boy, I tell you, I love this powder. Like, it is the best, like, so far that I've seen. It gives you, like, really, like, flawless finishes. That makes sense. Like, it's so airbrushed. Like, you need to get this. If you don't have it, you need to get this. Like, I promise you, you will love this. I used to actually have the banana bread one, but I don't know, like it was great and everything, but when I got the cupcake one, like I feel like it like brightening up your eyes even more, if that makes sense. Like, I personally love this one more. So 
so I'm just gonna pack that under my eyes. And I tend to get really oily right here, and like on my mouth area and like on my nose and my T-zone. Take for a bit. All right, and I'm gonna go with this uh, fluffy brush. I'm gonna go with this fluffy brush and I'm gonna wipe off the baking. For a blush, I'm using the ColourPop in Birthday Suit. This is one of my go-to uh, blushes because it's so pretty and I like this color. Like, it's the perfect color. And I'm going with this Real Techniques uh, Fluffy Sponge as well. And I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks. And then I'm going one more time with the Morphe Luminous Spray. Alright, uh, for lips, I'm going in with the uh, NYX in Copenhagen. I will link that down below because I can't say it. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna line my lips with this. All right, so for uh, uh, lipstick, I'm using the, also the NYX Soft Matte Metallic Lip Cream in the color, the color, in the color Madrid. Pro tip, if you ever feel like you mess up your lips, just grab some concealer, just like right here. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then going with semi mist one more time. I spray myself like crazy, trust me. You will always see me spraying. <laughs> Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. I'm honestly loving this look like wow I love this look all right guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment you know usual usual and I will see you guys on my next video bye guys